we're back. My first guest is one of only three chefs in the world to be awarded 12 Michelin stars every Tuesday. You can see him on the Fox show Hell's Kitchen and his new cookbook, Gordon Ramsay's Fast Food, is out now. Please welcome Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. I just, Likewise. I didn't mean to. I, I just <laughs> felt your arm. It's like you have a frying pan in there. You uh, you work out like crazy, don't you? I, I had my ninth uh, London Marathon last Sunday. You you ran the London Marathon? Yep, for the ninth time. Okay, and and so. uh, and and that's that's uh, you're you're so well known. You're known in this country. Uh -huh. You're so famous uh, in England. What's it like when you're yeah. running the marathon? People recognize you. They cheer you on. Mile twenty two is run, fat boy, run. Really? Which is a bit unfair, really. Mile 22, you want a little bit more encouragement. But, um, no, I love it. I enjoy it. And um, do you know what? I mean, you've got to build for a runner. You could do a marathon, couldn't you? No, no, no. I have the lungs of, like, a three-year-old child. <laughs> uh, I don't... Uh, so, it has nothing to do... I have long legs. That's yeah. what I have. But they really it's aren't fine. good for anything. Nice. Uh, so, uh, I eat like a horse all day long. And you, we eat a, you eat a lot? I eat a hell of a lot. And I was a fat chef once, uh, literally um, nine years ago. Fat, overweight, so I've done something about it. So, so you decided uh, I'm going to change. Now, uh, do you have said that you don't like a fat chef? No, Wh <laughs> why don't you like a fat chef? I just don't think it's a very good advert, Conan, when you're going out for dinner, mm -hmm. a romantic dinner, you're sat there with your wife, and you think, wow, let's have a look at the dessert order. Dessert order um, comes over, and um, you look in the kitchen, you see the chef, and he's like 350 pounds. Not a good advert for a, a restaurant to see a fat chef. Why? Maybe the food is so good, yeah. that's like uh, is eating it all, I you know? know? Uh, sh they shouldn't be eating it. Right. As chefs, we're cooking for you guys so um i suppose also nothing worse than watching a chef that's overweight that's sweating right half that sweat's going in your dinner right so yeah it's getting on the salad it's getting in the food it's letting down the sauces it's seasoning things and i just don't like fat chefs sweating in my food okay uh fair, <laughs> fair enough uh what about fat customers is that uh, that's okay right <laughs> you like a heavy <laughs> customer right I mean, a guy that well, sits down is like i want to eat a lot of food yeah, That's well, got to feel good to you. Well, you've got to adjust the portions accordingly, make yeah. them a little bit bigger, but um, it's always awkward when a fat bastard's getting out of the chair. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <it's terrible. laughs> get out, come on. And when they're in, they're in, like, for four hours, five hours at a time, I think, oh, my God, treat that customer like a pig. Don't get his head out of the food and keep it down. So it's hard. Yeah, don't you? I can't hard. believe you run, you run all these successful restaurants and you have this attitude, you know? Uh, mm. You get quite... You're not afraid to get angry with people. No. You're not afraid to get in their face. No, no, When, no, no. when people uh, work for you, 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 you yell at them. Is yes. that right? But you just called all my customers fat bastards. No, 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 I didn't. <laughs> I, I, I didn't. That was you, I believe. Uh, I, uh, you said that. I think uh, that they're just jolly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> jolly and happy. Yeah. Um, for me, the most important thing is about that level of perfection. Uh, winning Michelin stars is about that level of consistency and, more importantly, staying on top of it because it's very easy to get relaxed and comfortable with perfection. Okay. Well, you're yeah. very competitive. Very. You like to win. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, I heard once that someone stole some recipes from you and you lost your temper with them. What did you do? Well, we came to the kitchen for a work experience, which was fine, but then um, after all the cooks had left, uh, I was upstairs talking to some customers and all of a sudden I came downstairs and they were, he was in the office searching for all these recipes. So I called the cooks back and we, um, yeah, we stripped him. We stripped him, start bullet naked and wrapped him in plastic wrap. <laughs> Why did you do that? You, you took to... away all his clothes and then wrapped him in plastic wrap? Yes, just to teach him a lesson that, you know, come and work for me, but don't steal the recipes. Yes. Those guys are there for sort of three or four years. You can't just rock up after three days and start stealing. But it's just such an odd thing to do. You could it punch was, the guy, was, but, you know, you're a top it, chef, so you've was, got to <laughs> clean him, clean him, wrap him in plastic, <laughs> cover him in cream and bake him at 350 degrees. Exactly, you had to... exactly that. And it was a lot more easier doing that than actually hitting him. But, no, it's unfair and it's a stupid thing to do, so uh, I haven't seen him since. Now, on your... Uh, on, on, well, no, he can't move. Uh, on, on your show, yeah. uh, you are quite tough on the people that are competing. Have you been physically attacked? Um, I have been, actually. We just finished a new season of Kitchen Nightmares, um, shooting over America. We went to middle America this time. So um, it's a little bit rough and tumble, and, you know, I am in their faces, firm but fair. But... Um, the mighty. I didn't realize there's so many donkeys in kitchens in middle America. I tell you. What, what's the, what, what is that donkey? You, you, a call, donkey. you call people donkeys. What is yeah, a donkey? It's just a polite word for an ass. <laughs> Let's go back to donkey. Uh, <laughs> for the point of <laughs> television, okay. no. broadcast, not cable, pal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. but, but anyway, so this don a donkey is someone who's, yeah, okay, yeah. got it. Got Crap. No, you're not helping. <laughs> okay, sorry. 
Yeah. Sorry. Gordon, we're going the wrong I, way. Sorry. Come with me this way. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. He's a baddie. <laughs> He's a mean guy. Okay. He's not such a good cook. Not such a good cook. Okay. A d Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I think we all get the idea. Well, I hope I'm better. We're going to uh, take a break. Yes. When we come back, uh, you're going to teach me to cook something. Is that right? Fingers crossed. Okay. You were, uh, last, you were bad last time. <laughs> you were really bad last time. I'm hoping this time you've got some sort of... We're going to go to... We're going to go to commercial, and we may not ever be back. We'll see you in a second. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. More good, man.